Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Writer-director Kelly Reichardt is a celebrated filmmaker both domestically and internationally. She's collaborating with Michelle Williams for the fourth time with Showing Up. will be in theaters and will be showing at the Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival on Friday, April 14th. And I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Michelle Williams plays Lizzie, a sculptor looking to finish her pieces in time for a big show opening in a week. Now she has a small little home in Portland where she works out of her garage. Her neighbor Joe, played by Hong Chow, is also her landlord and a fellow artist. Now there's some tension between the two of them as Joe doesn't make for the best landlord as she's always too busy in her art instead of fixing the hot water problem. Lizzie is desperate for a day off just to finish her work, but finds herself the caretaker for a pigeon after a cat nearly mauls it to death. The film also stars Judd Hirsch, Andre Benjamin, and John Magaro. Now, first off, I just want to say I love this title, Showing Up, as sometimes it's a lot harder than you think to just show up in life, whether it's for your family, your boss, your neighbor, your pet, your community, or even yourself. And Kelly Reichardt is pondering this very concept with Lizzie, always feeling that tug and pull that we all feel like when we have a goal and a mission to accomplish and life seems to constantly put a wrench in that plan. Now I knew from the opening credits with Ethan Rose's simple dreamlike score that I was going to just be lured into Kelly Reichardt's film. And like many of her other films, this is quiet and contemplative, always looking inward on Lizzie and her art. She's not afraid to give screen time to just watching Lizzie sculpt her figures, many of them which look just like her. Now, Michelle Williams carries herself in a really sunken, frustrated state with a lot laying down on her. She's a character who is deeply connected to her emotions and really feels the need to take on other people's burdens at the expense of what she needs. Williams is exquisite, as she always is, and it's really rewarding to see her go from the lively and outgoing Mitzi Fableman to Lizzie. She just continues to showcase her range that she's already proven time and time again with her five Oscar nominations, none of which are actually for Kelly Records films that always seem to bypass the Academy. The thing about Lizzie is that Williams never makes her too eccentric for the viewer, making her everyday annoyances really relatable. We see that she's surrounded by an artist community, some of whom acknowledge her true talents, while others seem too buried in their own work to even look up in life. There's a really great supporting cast here with notable performances from Hong Chow and John Magaro, who was in Kelly Reichardt's last film, First Cow. Reichardt and Williams are a winning director-actor team, much like Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks and Martin Scorsese and Robert De Niro. Showing up feels like one of the more accessible films from their work together, and you can't help but feel Kelly Reichardt's own relationship to her art uh, through the character of Lizzie. I'm giving Showing Up four out of five ticket subs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some movie reviews, some celebrity interviews that I've had a lot of fun recently with. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Paul's Movie Shop. I'd love to hear from you. If you have a favor from Michelle Williams from Filmography, let me know in the comments. And make sure to go see Showing Up at your local Imagine Theaters. I just always love that theatrical experience of enjoying a movie as a collective audience. You can hear other people laugh or comment together. It's really fun. Follow them on social media at Imagine, M-N-E-M-A-G-I-N-E-M-N. -E -E -N. They have some really fantastic programming coming up, some community events, and I'm so excited to announce I'm going to be doing a new monthly film series. It's the fourth Sunday of every month at 3 p.m. kicking off this April. Um, coming up April 24th, it's going to be A League of Their Own. May 28th is Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window. And coming up June 25th, my favorite superhero movie of all time, The Dark Knight. So don't forget to go to their website, go buy tickets. I'd love to see you there. And Paul's Trip of the Movies is also brought to you by Popped Corn. Whether you are watching baseball season, a new release, something streaming on Apple TV Plus or somewhere else, you want to have some snacks on hand. So go into Popcorn today, try some samples, or just go to their website. Place an online order. Whether you want a tin, a basket, maybe you've got a graduate coming up that you want to celebrate. Um, there literally is something for everyone and every occasion. Um, I was in there recently, tried their Poppy Chow popcorn, and it was phenomenal and brought home a big bag of it. Uh, it was so good. 
So go in the store right now, try some, whether you want salty, sweet, spicy, chocolatey, fruity. Again, they literally have over 70 flavors to fit your taste buds. Um, go follow them on social media too, at Popcorn. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, what are your favorite flavors? Uh, you can't go wrong when you step in the door, so keep me posted on what you're trying. Thank you so much for watching my review of showing up. This is Paul's trip to the movies.